everybody, it's me RJ. Today, I'm going to show you how to fix your door so it doesn't break on a Dodge. It probably happens on other vehicles when your hinges just give a little bit. But the package. When your hinges just give just a little bit, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay? Watch this. You may not be able to tell. You probably can't tell. Okay? Not that much, but here's how you can tell. Listen. Hear that noise? Okay, it's rubbing. Watch this. Show them right here. Can you see the hinge? All the way in. See that? So see, it did, I had it and I adjusted it so it's not hitting this. It was hitting there. See that? Now I have it where it can get in and it just hits right here and goes up. But what's going to happen is this is not made very well metal and this will give. So we're going to show you what you got. There's a striker plate. You can get it off Amazon. How much we pay for this bad boy? Uh, no, there's probably the receipt right what? there. That's probably the receipt. Okay, twenty-five seventy on Amazon. This is aluminum. They do make a steel, but it's only for the driver door, I think, because they think you use your drive door more. Uh, problem is, I use my bachelor door just much because we get both get in and out cutting grass. Okay. So what you're gonna need is a. You can pause it real quick. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. What you're gonna need is a Torx 30. Oh, this, is a, this isn't a Torx, this is the protective one. <laughs> it's a Torx 30. The protective special one has a hole in the middle for certain things. Okay, so you're gonna have three bolts. It should come off pretty easy with these sockets. I got these sockets. Uh, this is a really nice set. It is a Tecton. 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 Tectonic plates. All right, they're kind of expensive, but I'll put a list of them, a link to them in the description. I think it's like seventy dollars. So it's worth it when you need all this stuff. Yeah, but I need to get all these off first. I was gonna say just send add a link to the part two. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna show, to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna show this plate in the in the description where we got it from off Amazon. Gotta be real careful so that doesn't fall in. Okay, see. Yeah, one, two. So here's the plate, okay? So you put it on like that. What you gotta do is adjust it just right. Oh, they're new bolts. Let's right. use the new ones. Might as well, right? We're gonna use the new ones. I don't want to be slightly abused. As you can see, come here and show them. Show them how thin the metal is. And see, it's been dinged up by whoever owned it before me. I got this from the junkyard. That's from someone before hitting a few times, so. I definitely want to do it. I did buy new hinges, but I bought, I did the pins first and it's still lightly just worn out and gives a little. So what I'm going to show you is this. Come here. Go ahead, show them. Come, here. Come in here. Go, go show them the hinge. Go down. Okay, you ready? I don't know where I'm at. Okay. Ready? See it? Mm -hmm. Can you tell? Yeah. Can you see it shifting? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's what this is for. It's protecting that shifting starts. So you do not. Uh -oh. I don't know. It seems like it's not a, a good thread. That's what it seems like. It's got way in there for it to catch. I'm going to have to use the old one. I don't know. You see. We're going to try this out, but I don't think these new bolts work. I think they're junk. Let's see, though. It might go. Eh, now they're gone. Okay. A little worried about that. Alright. They're really long. I don't know if they're supposed to be this long for a reason. Or they're they're the, it. How long are they compared to the other ones? Let's go. I'll take one out to see. Hold on. Made to be flat recessed so they don't oh. stick out too far. Yep. It does not want to go in though. over too much. In a second, what happens? Keep going. There it goes. So they're just better. They're tighter than the old ones. What's happening? And they're 
flat. See, these are not flat, so look at how. Well, because it's, it's got to be. It's, it's, this is wider than it used to be. Yeah. So they're flat, so that they don't Hit rub them. when you're going in. Okay. I mean, is that guys? It's three bolts. It's this. It's supposed to protect it and increase it because what it does, you're like, oh, it break here, but it actually breaks back here around the bolts. That's why I had to replace the door. Is what happened. When I did the pins, they didn't help. Real soon, I'm going to leave this plate on, but I'm going to replace the hinges. I have them inside. It's just a lot of work. I pulled the dash a little to do that. Yes, it goes. It's weird. It bites you. And it just goes. Helps having a wrench like this when you need to do little things like this. Lots of extra work. I get to a certain point. Loose. And you just go the rest away. Alright. Uh oh. I don't want to go. Okay. Don't over tighten and break your stuff. Get just snug. Okay. Alright, let's see how this works. You ready? You know, it'd be really nice if somehow the new bolts could have pulled this thing up higher. Because that's really all it needs to be is that needs to go up. Okay. Watch it. Mm -hmm. Look how light it is. Can you see in there? Yeah, I'm showing them. After I pick adjust the pin, I mean it barely rubs now, see? You have to adjust the pin. Watch my video where you adjust the pin and the door hinges and adjust them in. It's so close. If I could like shave this thing, it would be done. Okay. It didn't latch. It didn't latch. I like it did. It just it didn't did. close didn't all, the all the way. Huh? Okay. So there it is. That'll protect your door so that these don't break from the power of hitting. But I shouldn't hit anymore. Rubbing. When it starts to go before it does, we'll uh. Hopefully, pull it off, get the new hinge on. There you go, 25 bucks. The thing's about to go, it could save you. Make sure you don't break it. Once you roast out the metal and it breaks, it's almost impossible. All right, if you can weld real good, you can just put a piece of metal on yourself and do it, but the metal is thin, it's hard to weld onto. That's it, any questions? Comments below. Please like and subscribe, I have a little bit of help during these times. As you can see, love this truck but I'll just keep bricking it because I don't love it because I do but you can't buy a new truck and the economy's dead with COVID. <laughs> Coronavirus! Okay get out there get this get your part 25 bucks you won't have to go get a new door hopefully you do it before you have to go hit the junkyard for a new door because what I pay like 100 bucks for this dang door? Mm-hmm. What? Uh yeah. Something. A ridiculous amount for a old used door then then I had to switch all the parts out of Did we do a video on that? Mm -hmm. We did, right? Yeah, watch that video, guys, please. That'll help me. Even if you don't need to fix and change your door, just watch my video. Help me about that. Oh, there should be three extra little bolts in there. Thank you. Go right there. You put them in here. What? There's, you put them in here. In those other holes? Yeah. What do those do? I don't know. They'll hold it still, like There's it. no holes there. No? There's no hole in my door there. Huh? So I have to drill them and tap them? Does it tell me that? I don't know. Let's try to pause it real quick, y'all. Yep. All right, everybody. So there's three extra bolts that come in here that I didn't realize for extra reinforcement. Uh, and you got to slightly drill the hole. They say barely drill it in because the door locking mechanism is right behind you. So some cobalt tips if you can. That'll help you get through the metal. There's one up top too. It. Yep. 
Are we on? Mm-hmm. Looks like we're going to go slightly bigger again. So these are self-tapping screws. Oh, I've used like three sizes now. I'm going to go to one-eighth and see if that's big enough. I was trying to be start too small, you know, that one to destroy. The one-eighth. That is the big size I need. Be careful. Like I said, that part's back there. Search. Right. Oh, no, there's another one in there. It's under yeah, there. Yeah, there's one missing. Oh. Okay, so this is an extra reinforcement they have in here. And this, they're self tapping, and it's a pain in the butt. Getting them in. They're in the holes already. Okay. So you got three of them. I drilled one eighth drill bit, and that finally was enough to get it so I could get the self tapping in there. But they're tight. You might have to drill, like, put it in and then back it out some because of being self tapping. All right. Yeah. Oh. Now I gotta drill the top hole. And then this is gonna be it. Like I said, <laughs> good please. thing I saw that. Yeah. The boss figured it out. I got it. Careful. You get too anxious and break stuff. It can be sad. Alright. Now you get this on there. This may not hold forever. So it's best to do this to reinforce your door. But try to fix your hinges by the pins if you can. Hopefully. Because that's the easiest. Go watch my video on replacing the door hinges. Or the pins. Uh, I'm going to do the hinges real soon and have a video, but I don't have it right now, okay? So, all right, that's it. I'm going to wait here for a minute. Try and see if I can use my drill to pop it in there a little easier. So, it's uh, always yeah. Seize the Day. I'm RJ, Seize the Day each and every day. Like I said, like, subscribe, I help. The link to these will be there. The link to these. And I'll the put some cobalt tips in there, too. The striker uh, set. And the striker set will be in there. Okay? Later, bye-bye.